Guys, uh, first of all, I just want to say a big, big thank you to all the suggestions and, and all the guys that uh, commented and sent me private messages and you know offered up you know all kinds of suggestions. Uh, first of all, um, you know Lucky Larry from K and L Machine. I'm going to put a link to his channel. He doesn't get very many views, but he took the time to hand draw out a, a recommended sketch for what he would recommend. I think we may have incorporated some of that into this. Uh, a guy named Eric from East Side Creations, I believe, uh, local guy in Dallas, and it was really great to meet him. Uh, offered to let me borrow his gantry crane, uh, but we had an issue with the height that uh, wasn't going to fit in here. And uh, Greg Porter uh, was helpful, offered some beam calculations and uh, other insight. And you know, I, I can't, you know, go down the list. I, I just, you know, so many people. Uh, Jeremy in, in Alabama. Uh, had a recommendation, uh, tow truck, you know, many, many, many people recommended the tow truck option. The issue I thought with that is my garage door, when it's in the up position, which it would have to be for the tow truck to get in here, there's only about six and a half feet of clearance uh, underneath it there. And I was just afraid that there wouldn't be enough room for the boom to get in, raise up, and then get this up high enough to get uh, the other under there. Um, and some of you may know that I'm uh, opening a shop uh, or moving into a bigger shop, a uh, much bigger shop with a CNC plasma table. So I'm going to need a gantry crane there to, you know, get eighth inch plates of, uh, um, quarter inch plates of uh, four by eight sheets of steel and so forth off the trailer and off the truck uh, onto the plasma table. Uh, so we're going to need it anyway. And uh, so this is going to be part one. I'm going to throw a coat of paint on it because as soon as I get through using it for this, I'm going to take it back apart. Obviously it's a part now. Um, and, and store it, and it's likely gonna be stored outside. Uh, so I wanna get some paint on it just to keep it from rusting. It's all, you know, uncoated steel and, and all that. So I'm gonna throw some paint on it and put it together, and we'll show you that on part two. Um, but again, I really appreciate all the help and all the comments and suggestions. It's really meant a lot. Thanks guys, take care.
showing this in the main video here, but uh, just to show you some more Mr. Smooth action here. So you see we've got this one uh, support runner tacked in and we're using this brace here to hold it in place while we get it tacked. And I didn't happen to think, I got two different kinds of boxes. One that's got no third axis on it and this one does. And you can see it's locked in there. No way to get it out. So I gotta cut the tacks off of it and use a different vice. Mr. Smooth for you.